morning YouTube it's Matt here with yard sale zombie and I'm just gonna do a quick video today to let you guys know what happened at the US Postal Service yesterday when I was dropping off my packages from the weekend I had about 12 or 15 somewhere between 12 and 15 packages from the weekend and um, so it was a pretty good weekend and what I normally do is drop them off on my way to lunch at work when I have my lunch break I go right over to the post office and drop everything off same place every day I say hi to the guy and the girl that worked there and um, never had a problem normally when I weigh my packages I always round up so if anything I think I'm paying a little extra because if it weighs like nine pounds 1.1 1 .1 ounce you know I'm going one I'm going two ounces nine pounds two ounces or maybe even three sometimes I round up a little more than that um, but either way, I went just like I always do, and I kind of had a feeling that I had a lot. You know, as I'm starting to sell more, I'm walking in with a big box. It's one of those postal boxes, and there's, you know, big shoe boxes in there and big other boxes, so it's stacked up kind of like to my head, and I've just got this big box and all kinds of little envelopes. And so I walk up to the counter, and I'm like, oh, these people are going to hate me. I'm putting the boxes on the counter, basically making a tower with all my stuff. And in the back of my head, I had, you know, a feeling that they were kind of annoyed or that they might be annoyed because they're government workers, you know, they don't want it too much. And that's just the way they are. That's the way they operate, you know, and that's okay for me to say because I'm also a government worker. So anybody that wants to get upset about that, you can't because I'm in the same boat. I'm a government employee for now. Um, so yeah, knowing how government employees are, they want to do the least amount of work possible to get the job done. Most of them, nine out of 10. So I just had a feeling that he might be annoyed, but I put the stuff up there. I said, thank you, like I always do, have a great day, and I left. And as I'm walking out, I hear, excuse me, sir, come back here, please. Turn around, walk back to the counter, and I said, yeah, what's going on? This package is underpaid, it's 45 cents too low. And it's a media mail package, number one. So media mail is like dirt cheap. And I know I paid like $8 to ship this Bible. It's an antique Bible. And I'm confused, but I'm also in a rush because I'm already late getting back. So I said, well, I don't understand. How can it be low, you know? I put the weight and I put the measurements in and I already paid, it's prepaid. And he's like, well, I don't know. So you can either buy a stamp for it or you can take it back and redo it. And with 12 or 15 packages, there's no way. You know how it is with eBay. You need to get these things out fast. So rather than asking the better questions that I probably could have asked, I was more trying to convince him to take the packages. So I said, well, could you try another one? Maybe I made a mistake on this package. So he grabs another one and he puts that on the scale. And guess what? That one's low too, about 60 something cents low. And well, you know, we keep checking packages and they're all low. And the guy's like, well, I don't know what to say. Every single one of these packages is underpaid. Um, you know, really, I shouldn't even be sending these out. I shouldn't. I also shouldn't be telling you that they're low. We should just send them back. Like, he's just telling me all the reasons why he shouldn't help me, government employee. Um, but anyways, so rather than, you know, I'm just like late to, for getting back. I'm confused because I feel like I always round up and do a great job with this. And I'm also just wanting him to take the package so the one question that I wish I would have asked was, does the weight match? Because it prints out the weight on the postal um, label. I should have said, does the weight match your scale? Because I think he was looking at like a pricing scale or something. And um, I didn't ask that question because like I said, I was trying to convince him to keep the packages, which he did. After talking with him, I think it kind of cooled off a little bit and I explained to him the situation and what I do and you know, how I use the, the um, I don't know if you want to call it an app, but the eBay shipping screen. And I said, I really don't understand how it's wrong. How about we do this? I'll be in tomorrow, hopefully, if the package sells. I will bring the prints out to show us how much I paid, the weight, everything like that, and then we can compare it with your table, because he kept holding up this little USPS table, the prices. So I said that, how about we compare mine with yours and we'll kind of see what's going on. And he agreed to that, he agreed to take all the packages and I would see him tomorrow. So tomorrow is now today. I have a package, I sold my Salvatore Ferragamo loafers that I paid $5 for. Those went for about $180. So those are going out today, priority mail. And we weighed the package out, Steph and I did some investigation. And what we did was we opened the eBay shipping screen and uh, weighed it out and it came out 
down to $20.05 before the eBay discount for shipping. And then after the eBay discount, it was like $17.50 or something like that. It was like a $3 discount. So we copied the screen and put that on a piece of paper. Then we went to the United States Postal Service directly on their website, their shipping calculator, put in all the same things, and it came out to $20.05, the same exact price. So we put that on the piece of paper and printed it out. So we have a piece of paper with their website and the eBay website, and then after the discount, we circled it, the total that we paid, $17.50. So I'll be bringing that this afternoon when I go on my lunch break about noon. And um, what I'm gonna do is give him the package and say, measure this one, is this one low too? And I hope he says it's low, because then I can just give him the paper and say, well, then you need to learn how to do your job because it's not low. You know, there's no way I'm trying to scam the USPS that I go to every day and make money and run a business from or with. The guy's retarded. So that will be part two. I will do that this afternoon and let you guys all know what happened. So um, wish me luck. I hope everybody enjoys their Tuesday. I will talk to you later.